Welcome back to the channel everybody, Josh here from the Platinum Trophy, bringing you another sale video. Today we're having a look at the extended play sale for Europe. Um, I'm also making an extended play sale video for North America, so you'll be able to check that video out as well. But the idea of this video is to have a look through the extended play sale that's currently going on on the PlayStation Store and identify anything that has quick and easy Platinum Trophies. Let's dig in and have a look at the sale. I'm lying to you. A fake stage shit, so, as I mentioned at the top, this is the extended play sale for Europe. If you're looking for the American version of the same sale, uh, there's another video with that. I'll probably put it in the description below, um, or it'll be the next video on the channel. So, let's dive in and have a look here. I don't want these to be really, really long videos if possible. I just want them to be nice, quick videos where you can just find all the easy trophies and then go off and buy them. So, let's have a look through. I will point out though as well, like the sales last week, this is a pretty decent sale. We've got some really cheap games here for AAA titles. If you're after good games, like good AAA titles, there's a lot of them in here. Um, it doesn't mean that they're easy Platinums though. So let's let's have a quick look through. I don't know why DayZ never had a Platinum trophy. This was always, like this was something I was so excited for for years and then it came out and it was just, it came out to PS4 so late and then didn't have a Platinum and there was just, yeah, so many problems with it. Um, all right, so where are we looking? We've got nothing so far. I mean the Sims 4 is there Actually, these are all expansion packs and, and most people should own the Sims 4 by now anyway with PlayStation Plus Watch Dogs 2 is a pretty straightforward platinum, but it's not a quick and easy one Same with these Lego games any of the Lego games are always really easy platinums But they're gonna take you a decent amount of time You know, you're probably looking at 30 to 40 hours for these just because you have to do everything in the game But if you're after a, a pretty good platinum they're, uh, they're not too bad. Actually, out of all the LEGO games, the Harry Potter collection is probably one of the easier ones. This will be less time consuming, and for the price here, you're actually able to get two Platinums out of it, because you can get the first Harry Potter game and the second Harry Potter game. Um, so they're pretty easy Platinums. I'll put somewhere, it'll be up here somewhere how long it takes, but I, I think it's probably like a 20 to 30 hour Platinum, but still like a 2 out of 10 difficulty. Fishing Simworld, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have one. And Dragon Ball's Ball Xenoverse is a pretty challenging one. Fallout 4 is on here, which is a, a relatively easy plat, but it does take a long time. All right, so it turns out I'm completely wrong with this one. It must've been Rugby 19 that was glitched. Rugby 20 is an easy platinum. It's about a two out of 10, but it's gonna probably take you about 10 hours. I know in previous games, you could simulate matches so that it would just unlock everything without actually having to play it. This one here does appear like it's going to take a bit longer though. Great games that are super cheap, but not really easy Platinums. It is actually a pretty decent sale overall though, I would say. I just realize the microphone might not be picking up my voice that well, because it's that way when I'm facing this way while I'm talking. Uh, NHL 20 is so cheap. I mean, for Dead Island, you can get two games here for probably like 10 bucks. And those are two Platinums that are pretty reasonable. They're going to take you about 20 hours each, though. We know, we're here really for the really easy stuff, though, and I'm not seeing actually any of that. Well, there you go. That's, that looks like it's the whole sale. To be honest, there is not a ton of easy games in the sale. It looks like it's a lot of AAA software. Um, so I guess if we, we go through it again backwards and just like point out the ones that are kind of easy Platinums that are going to take you maybe a little bit longer than the gimmies, um, Nothing probably on this list. Uh, Wolfenstein you want to stay away from, it's really hard. Yeah, I'd say Dead Island um, and Dead Island uh, Riptide. They're both pretty easy plats. Um, Rugby 20 is a pretty easy plat. The, the Far Cry games traditionally are pretty easy, they just take a bit of time, so keep that in mind if you're interested in going for one of those. Yeah, like I mentioned before, that Harry Potter Lego collection, you get two easy platinums there. I mean, that's probably the easiest one on this whole list, if I'm being honest. Watch Dogs, maybe. And then you've got Lego Villains and Lego Avengers. They're, they're probably gonna be pretty easy as well. Then Sims 4, which I know a lot of people probably already own because it was on PlayStation Plus not too long ago. But there's a glitch on Sims 4 where you can easily unlock the Platinum Trophy by following a certain guide. I think it takes about 5 or 6 hours to unlock the Platinum Trophy instead of 20 or 30 hours. So that's something you could check out if you're interested in that one as well. But there's not a ton of easy easy plats in here unfortunately. It's a, a slightly... Uh, it's a good sale. That's the thing. It's a good sale. So there's not a lot of cheap easy games in it. It's mostly higher quality titles. So. I don't know, those are the only ones that I can really recommend if you're after easy Platinums. If you're after some good games though, there are so many awesome games in this sale that you can go and pick up and spend some time on. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys are going to be picking up anything from this sale. Let me know if this video is helpful with a, a thumbs up. 
and uh, and comment down below if you're going to pick anything up from it. It'll be really interesting to find out if people are. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you so much for watching.